curve for influenza is like this. Okay, so it's going up very, very, very straight. The Children's Hospital has seen four and a half times as many cases of influenza this November as they had in November of 2019, as they continue to see high daily patient visits to their emergency department. We're anticipating that we're going to hit a higher peak and we're going to have a slow runoff. So our season is going to last longer. HSC Children's Section Head of Pediatric Medicine, Dr. Elizabeth Doyle, met with media for a second consecutive week to share details on HSC's unprecedented patient load. Dr. Doyle says they saw 174 patient visits to the emergency department Monday with a monthly average of 171 per day. She says the average was 138 pre-pandemic. About half of all of the patients that we're seeing in ED right now are this influenza-like illness. So yesterday about 83 of those patients. Um, for the month of November, we saw 140 cases of bronchiolitis in total, um, which is three and a half times the number that we saw in November of 2019. Uh, and as you know, bronchiolitis is typically caused by RSV. Dr. Doyle says 16 patients were admitted to hospital yesterday, with most seeing treatment and being sent home. Shared Health has released a website this past week called Kid Care, which aims to guide parents to the proper physician for their child's treatment, hopefully taking taking pressure off the emergency department. At least 25% uh, decrease in the number of visits if we could have patients directed to the appropriate place for care. We worry um, about this little one contracting it and having their um, be less uh, hospital space that we know of, especially in children's hospitals. Noelle Drimmy's first daughter, Daisy, spent 60 days in HSC's NICU after being born premature. RSV was a risk then, and it's even more so now for her eight-week-old daughter, Ruby, who has been airlifted to Winnipeg once already. She uh, ended up spending a week in the NICU herself for respiratory distress syndrome. Um, she was three weeks early. And so again, RSV was sort of on the top of my mind now that it's sort of more prevalent. Drimmy understands that sometimes it's not possible to seek care for your child anywhere other than in hospital, but hopes people still do their best to only use it when necessary and use proper masking and health fundamentals to get us through this flu season. If people use them wisely, I think we'll manage. If people use them, don't use them or are unwise in using them, then I think we'll run into trouble. In Winnipeg, Mike Albanese, City News.